guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. It's episode number 19, and of course we are on Boxing Day now in real life as opposed to in-game. So I do hope you guys had a very, very good Christmas indeed. Hope you got everything you want from Santa and that you're not feeling too hungover today after uh, perhaps a couple of drinks, etc. with the family. But we uh, the first game in this one is actually an international. It's our first international friendly as England manager. And you have to let me know in the comments section down below whether you actually want to see any friendly football at international level. Of course, in the previous career mode we did with Tottenham on current gen, we uh, we got the job as the French international manager, and we didn't show any international gameplay, just the competition football at Rio 2014. We had that little mini series. So if you'd like the same in this one with England, then do let me know. If you would like to see perhaps little uh, snippets of gameplay etc. from England, like this international friendly etc., just goals or key highlights if it's like a nil nil etc., then let me know in the comment section down below, and I will give you what you want. But the first proper game of this episode is a huge one. We've got Manchester City away from home. We're into the middle of February now. And Man City are sat top of the league. 24 games played so far. They've won 20 and drawn 4. Completely unbeaten in the league so far. So it's obviously the hardest game we've had to play so far this season. We sat third, one point behind Liverpool. But obviously if we were able to beat Man City, not only would it be huge for, uh, for us moving us up into second if Liverpool couldn't match our result. And of course, who knows what it would do to City's confidence if they were to lose their first Premier League game of the season. But first effort there as well, saved by Joe Hart. He uh, typically palms stuff away, doesn't he, in real life and on FIFA. His handling isn't the best. Always looks to push the ball back into play, but he isn't going to get a chance to do that here. Lovely ball over the top from Eden Hazard. Cleese can't get anywhere near him. Cutting in from that right-hand side, where we moved him across to the right from the left and has been such an influential player for us since he made that move to the other wing. Cutting inside, scoring a couple of goals, creating... Uh, even more that ball across for Torres' header in the previous episode was absolutely beautiful and he puts us 1-0 up away from home at the Etihad here and we're going to try something from the training ground from uh, from this free kick I wanted Lampard to be the one that was going to run onto it unfortunately it was Vidal having the effort and uh, he just kind of blasts it past that far post and unfortunately he wasn't able to get it on target but Andre Scherler another lob through ball and again Joe Hart's going to palm it away palms it back into danger Ramirez is going to play in Matt and unfortunately the shot's going to get blocked and they are going to get the ball away from danger but we're uh, we're coming up towards the end of the first half now Negredo is going to play a nice 1-2 on the edge of the box could pick up a free kick there the referee doesn't give anything but ends up falling to Jovetic 5 or 6 yards out and he just stabs at it rather than getting anything uh, anything substantial behind the ball Fortunately, Petitek's able to make a comfortable save and we scramble it clear. But uh, City are very, very good at keeping hold of possession. We noticed that in the Tottenham career mode on current gen earlier on in the year. It was very, very hard to get the ball off them. So whenever you do have the ball, you do have to make the most of every chance that you get. And we did that in the first half. Eden Hazard, the goal at the break is the difference between the two sides we come into the second half hoping to make more progress but uh, they're actually going to get the first chance of the half Milner's going to cross the ball in takes a deflection off Ashley Cole's face and it's David Luiz going up to challenge the ball with Jack Rodwell you'll see from the replay David Luiz's right arm left arm as you look at it goes up and he does actually bat the ball away with his arm from Jack Rodwell's uh, attempted header and it's Stefan Jovetic is going to step up to take the penalty hoping that Petacek can step up to the mark and uh, make the difference for us to keep us in front but Jovetic is a very very good striker especially in FIFA and he's been injured a lot in real life and he puts the penalty away very very nicely indeed just underneath that crossbar to the left hand side sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and they are back on level terms but so we're trying to get ourselves back in the game and they're loose with possession which is very unlike them like we've said very very good in possession normally Ramirez gets played in tries to get around Cleese and again it's a parried effort from Joe Hart back into the danger area he very rarely seems to push the ball over the bar or around the post it's always back out in front of him which in real life is a distinct problem and uh, an issue with his game but Torres lovely ball over the top for Vidal fantastic first touch and another very very good finish that's two assists now for Torres in this game two exquisite lofted through balls end up as the two assists and Torres has been doing very very well for us indeed recently scoring goals more than anything and if he's going to start chipping in with assists as well it, we're definitely not missing Diego Costa right now and Sami Eto isn't getting a sniff but that first touch from Vidal is so good to bring it down out of the air pick it out and pop it onto his right foot really nice finish and I made a couple of changes just to freshen things up taking off Rafael Varane and Juan Mata for Branislav Ivanovic and Kevin De Bruyne just want to make sure that we're able to keep hold of the ball and you know deny them any counter-attacking opportunities and Schoeller had a 
chance to really wrap it up here. And uh, Joe Hart makes a save, although it's just kind of him falling into the ball more though, more so than actually making a genuine save. But they're going to get another chance themselves here. James Milner whips the ball in. Negredo's going to go up in the air, beat De Bruyne for the header. Really disappointed that De Bruyne wasn't able to challenge more for that. But fortunately, in the Grado's header is inaccurate enough to go around the far post. Tech dives, doesn't have to make a save. And we come away with the three points. So that is a massive, massive result for us. Not only is it City's first defeat, it moves us up to second in the table. Level all points with Arsenal, in fact. So uh, there's a lot of London clubs chasing the uh, the Northwestern clubs down. And uh, we've actually got a game against another London club here. It's West Ham at home in the Premier League. Now, if we could pick up a win from this one as well, and you'd like to think we could pick up a win from this one as well, having just beaten the league leaders who were previously unbeaten, then we will be sitting very, very nicely for heading into the last couple of months of the season. And uh, Essien's going to play Frank Lampard in. Obviously, Lampard wants to impress against his former club. Danilo gets a lovely turn around the defender there. Nice step over to commit the defender one way. Goes the other, has the pace to get away from him. And that's a fantastic finish for a right back. Really not bad at all, being able to cut it back across the goalkeeper. See, the defender commits. Gets that little bit of space he needs to pull the ball back across the goalkeeper. And it's actually Adrian in goal. They were playing a weakened side here because in a few days' time just after this, we actually have West Ham again in the FA Cup fifth round. So uh, Frank here does very, very well to get away from the defender and really, really unlucky to hit the outs inside of the post and uh, their defender gets the ball away with a rather acrobatic clearance. But they're going to pick up a free kick here. Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne puts the foot in and Nolan looks like he's trying to just I don't know, hump his, uh, hump his thigh or something, but Downing with a really nice free kick. Unfortunately, Schwartz is just about able to get across to it to keep it out, stop it from going into the back of the net. But we're into the second half now, literally just after kickoff. Jarvis plays in Maiga, and he's so, so close to getting them back at 1 1 there. Just inches wide of that far post and it's a let off for us and a warning sign we definitely need to step it up if we want to make sure we're going to get all three points from this but we're passing the ball about really nicely at the minute in every single game we seem to be able to keep possession very very tightly indeed and that's a similar kind of goal to the one we scored with Danilo a nice step over to commit the defender one way before cutting it back across the goalkeeper seems to be a weakness in Adrian's game and uh, I tried to exploit that as much as possible as you saw then we're actually going to exploit it once again here Decilio plays the ball into Kevin De Bruyne he's got nothing on so I just decided to find a bit of space give it a whack across goalkeeper and again the goalkeeper just cannot cope with it Adrian lets it go across his body into the back of the net and it's a comfortable 3-0 lead on the hour mark and it's just it's what you would expect from a game at Stamford Bridge against West Ham but it's still nice to maintain a run of form scoring a lot of goals and keeping clean sheets but uh, we made a couple of changes because we've got a lot of games coming up in the next few weeks we'll cover that more so in the next episode and uh, if you follow me on Twitter you'll know exactly what that's all about but they're going to get a chance to get one back here Petrov break Petric rather breaking into the box having a good shot but Schwartz is comfortably down to his right hand side to get it around the post for a corner nothing came of it and we take another three points from this one thank you very much West Ham thank you very much Manchester City we will take maximum points from this game or this episode rather and as you can see we are now second outright although Arsenal do have that game in hand still can go level on points with us but we will stay ahead on goal difference if Arsenal win by two goals or less so uh, fingers crossed we can stay in second we're only 10 points behind City now even though they do still have a game in hand themselves but their confidence may have been knocked by us defeating them so we'll have to wait and see what happens in the upcoming weeks but that is going to bring this particular episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind you guys have been going absolutely ham over the Christmas period with uh, likes, views, comments etc so please do keep that up. If you aren't subscribed to the channel then feel free to do so. There will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that little subscribe button there. And if you missed the previous episode from Christmas Eve there is an annotation on screen over that snippet of gameplay to take you to that video and of course feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming as well. There will be a link to that in the description but that's going to bring it to an end for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode and a bit of a rant to be completely honest but uh, that is going to wrap this one up so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time